I'd like to show you a few cases illustrating the use of the jet injectors. The injectors are assembled using sterile technique. The injector and its components can be autoclaved at the end of each day of use. The injector components are removed from the autoclave. The preferred anesthetic solution is 2% lidocaine plain. Syringe is filled with lidocaine. The components of the injector or injectors are laid out for easy assembly. A small drop of the lidocaine solution is placed over the seal on each injector head to promote a good seal with the filling chamber. Once the seals have been wet down, the filling chamber is fixed to the head. Approximately 4 cc's of anesthetic solution is placed in the filling chamber. The main body of the injector is placed over the filling chamber and is pumped back and forth several times expressing a small amount of the lidocaine. The head is fixed onto the body and the injector is fired several times in order to prime the mechanism. The filling chamber will not be completely full at this point so a small amount of lidocaine can be placed into the filling chamber to top it up so that it is full and completely ready to use for your cases. A finger protector is recommended over the third digit of the left hand for a right-handed operator. Clean, non-sterile gloves are placed over. The injector is removed from the made aside disinfectant solution and wiped clean with a gauze. The specially designed vasectomy spacer is placed over the end of the injector. This is the part that comes into contact with the patient's skin. The injector is fired once prior to each patient use. That clears the injector head from any uh, debris.